Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and a term I use quite a lot in my tutorials is sequencing or sequence of events. So what exactly is sequencing? So the idea is creating a timeline in your head of events that would occur. So for example, the best way to explain this is I have a scene set up here and something is going to occur each time. So if we press play, we can see that the light should turn on. We should get text appear. It says a cube is going to fall, and it does. We hear a ding, and more text has appeared, and now disappeared. So this is called sequencing, and as I said, it's the idea of placing a sequence of events together using a script. So this is the script used, and this is the sequence of events, the sequencing that I've used. So the script starts, starts up the coroutine, which is the I enumerator my sequence down here, this method. And we wait for two and a half seconds, and then we set the light as active. We wait for another second, and then set the text to say a cube is going to fall in three seconds. Wait for another three seconds, then the cube falls as the text is being set back to nothing. Both these lines here. And next we wait for another three seconds, and then the ding sound will play. And then we wait for one more second, and then the text changes to I told you so for four seconds and then clears off screen. So this is the sequence. And sequences are usually good and handy for things like cutscenes and events in the game which you don't control, you don't play through. So for example, if you have a small cutscene where your main character is walking over to somebody else, to an NPC and talking to them, you would use sequencing. It's easy to control and you can control anything within the game just with sequencing. And the idea of why we use the wait for seconds is because we need to wait for certain periods of time before the next event occurs. So in some ways you can create complex scenarios from sequencing, not even complex, you can just create even minimal scenarios from sequencing. And I would say that creating these sequence of events can be a little bit daunting at first, but once you've got in your head what's going on, it's, it's easy. I would recommend, for example, writing down on some paper how you want your sequencing, your sequence of events to occur. And then you can put it together in code. And these can probably go on for many, many, many lines of code, depending on how long your sequence is. So guys, I hope that helps on sequencing. And if you have any troubles with it, if you want to know any more on sequencing or putting together a sequence of events, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to see if I can help. So guys, thank you very much for watching.